going to analyze the different type of uh, steering systems and uh, after that we are going to start with the installation. The installation is too simple, it's, uh, it's not complicated, but uh, the most important is try to understand uh, how is the steering system of my boat. It's mechanical, it's hydraulic, where I am going to install the servo cylinder, uh, what type of servo cylinder I needed. Uh, for example, mm, this one is an uh, electrical servo cylinder and uh, that the, the, the electrical uh, signal is coming from the computer in the position uh, in the position motor you see the first position motor motor a and b in that position uh the computer send the signal look at this a and b positive negative or negative positive and uh, the servo goes or because you reverse the polarity that's it if you disconnect those cables and you connect with the positive and negative, that actuator goes like this or like this, depending the polarity uh, related with the connection. Okay. Can I install an autopilot system in a boat uh, with a mechanical steering? When, when I say mechanical steering system, I am talking about what? Mechanical steering. With cables, the, the movement of uh, the gears uh, is with cable or uh, with rack and pinion. You remember what is rack and pinion? With the pinion. This is completely like your car, no? The, the previous models. Uh, this is rack and pinion. Mm, can I install in a boat with uh, those mechanical system autopilot? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But uh, it's less. It's less efficient than a. Uh, if uh, your, si your boat have a hydraulic system, no? But yes, you can. You can integrate the autopilot. Can I install autopilot in a sailboat? Yes. Can I install autopilot in a powerboat? Yes. There are different type of uh, 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 power assisted units for, uh, for those boats. And uh, you need to be familiar with that. Let me show you quickly. This is a typical boat with a you see here in the bottom uh, the cable, the cable, move at the steering. You see the cable coming in and coming out. Can you can you show here the cable coming in, coming in and coming out? You see. And uh, how is the effort? It's hard, it's hard no? It's not too much, but uh, it's hard. And uh, this is completely mechanical. Look at the cable. The cable enter here, and finally the cable, finally the cable move it in one direction or in the other direction. You see? Mm -hmm. This is completely mechanical. Ah, my friend, can I replace? Can I replace this mechanical pump for hydraulic pump? Yes. Yes, you can. Let me show you. You can do that. I replace the traditional mechanical pump with cable, the cable that you saw over there, for this hydraulic pump. It's a hydraulic equipment. Internally have the gears, the hydraulic pump, and you move it in one direction and the other direction. Ah, oh. <laughs> and now bingo, how much is the effort here? It's less, no? Because it's hydraulic. That's wonderful, no? That's simple. Look at this. What you have one cable for a port side and other cable for the starboard side, port side, starboard side, and bingo finito. Both side. Look, pin or pin. And you have the hydraulic system. This is wonderful. This is easy. Uh, install an autopilot system with a hydraulic boat is it's, uh, it's not difficult, it's simple in comparison with the mechanical, no? Because in the mechanical, you, you, need, you need a servo cylinder with high, high torque, no? High force, because, because the effort is bigger. You remember in that one? Mm. This is why the people every day replace mechanical, mechanical steering system for hydraulics. And uh, 
in, in the hydraulic system, there are other variations that I'm going to show right now. It's exactly the same in your car. Uh, in your car, you remember some years ago, the majority of the cars, they, they come with mechanical steering system, no? And a year later, the, uh, the engineers introduced the mechanical, the mechanical power assisted unit. Uh, it's, a, it's a pump like this. You are familiarized with this pump in your boat, no guys? You remember that pump? And uh, that pump is moved with the, the pulley and uh, the bell connected with the crank shaft. And here you have the reservoir, and here you have the gears for the pump, and this is the pump, reservoir and pump, and uh, the movement is mechanical, and uh, you connect this one for port side, and this one for the starboard side, and bingo finito. Right now with the steering system, what about the movement? Smooth. That's the smooth, no? It's exactly the same. Let me show you something. You see the steering system? Uh, here uh, you have uh, the rack, the rack, and here with this you move the pinion, no? This is rack and pinion, and what happened with this and this? Yeah, rack and pinion. This one is the rack and pinion system, you see? You can move it, the, the direction. But how is the movement here with the engine off? Hard. With no pump? Hard. It's hard, no? You can move it, no? But it's, it's hard. Okay, what happened if I activate that pump with my gasoline engine? You see the gasoline engine? You see the carburetor here? Mechanical hydraulic. Mechanical because it's connected with the valve, connected to the, to the motor and the pump, no? Ah, when the pump is running, the pump sends fluid to the system, and now the system is, is, oh, it's perfect. And now the movement, you see? What is the name of that pump? It's a power assisted pump. Ah, can I use the system without the pump? Yes, but it's hard. It's hard. It ah, when, when the system is assisted for that pump, it's completely soft. That's a hydraulic system. Now we are going to explain quickly what is the meaning of hydraulic si system. We are going to check a couple of hydraulic systems and after that we are going to continue specifically on the autopilot. Is okay?